My name is Lenka Jones and I'm a portrait photographer based in the UK. I'm here in Italy at the beautiful Graffite Castle and I'm going to meet Sue, can't wait, so excited. I'm terribly excited because I'm just about to have a photo shoot with Sue. We have beautiful models with gorgeous gowns and it's just going to be amazing. Okay girls, do a beautiful, big, gorgeous smile. I shoot a lot of families. I love mother and daughter sessions or mums with their children. And I love generation shoots. And so I thought when I got the opportunity to have the sisters, I knew that's what she would be drawn to because she speaks about it with so much heart. And they're so beautiful. They look like Linka. They look like Linka's brand. I'll probably have a little bit more um, so that they're on the same yeah. so. How long have you been a professional photographer, my love? I started 10 years ago. I was working for my mum uh, in a casting agency where we were scouting models for Japan. And I took some pictures and, and they liked them in Japan. And that's, that's how I started to uh, just pick up the camera. And in London? This was in Slovakia, that's where I'm from. Before Sue's classes, I was predominantly a wedding photographer. And you still shoot weddings? I shot my last wedding a few weeks ago. And Wait, uh, I love that statement. Say it again. <laughs> I shot my last wedding a few weeks ago. Can you answer a question for me? When you would tell people that your weddings were $2,000 and $3,000, did it make you feel bad? No. Uh, so why did you think that a portrait was not worth the same amount? Because when I started, I didn't value it as much. Why? why? What didn't I, you value? Why couldn't you say that? Why couldn't you say a portrait is $2,000? Because I thought... I, I said to myself, I would never pay that money. But, uh, yeah. It wasn't until sales intensive, actually, that I started properly charging and getting into habit of talking about my prices. It was also around the time when I did the photo shoot with High Care that I think, you know, a lot of things changed for me. So you did a personal photo shoot? Yes. And then you paid for that, and yes. then you felt the value of That's that. It, there you go. <laughs> Well, I tell all photographers to do it. You, right now, watching, go and book a photo shoot right now. How do you know until you've done it yourself and done it with someone that you love and someone that you want to photograph you and experience that yes. beautiful feeling? And those images are incredible. Oh my goodness, I love them. It was just quite magical. Going through the same experience and paying somebody else for the service that I offer to my clients and product that I offer to my clients felt like a, a missing piece of valuing what I do. In a private conversation, she said to me, who am I to charge this much? Who am I to tell people I'm this much money? And then she came to our, our masterclass and I knew that she was struggling, pricing herself up high in the UK, but I watched her just work through it. So how long have you been in your little studio space? Uh, it would be, it was two years ago, uh, in April, two years ago I moved to my studio. And my studio is set in a little village called Frey and it's surrounded by field. From the outside it looks very shabby, it's, it's just a wooden hut that doesn't look like anything interesting could be going on there. But once you open the door, all of my clients go, wow. So once you're inside, on the right hand side you will see my two beautiful olifant backdrops and my other backdrops on, on the wall. On the other wall, I have a reveal wall. That's um, one of my favorite spots as well because every now and then you just stand there and you can look at the, all the beautiful images. My clients are people who value photography. Funnily enough, a lot of people think I'm in the area where there are people with a lot of money, but clients who value photography are all around the world. They come from small towns, from big towns, and I don't like thinking, you know, I'm going to be after people who have money because that's not about the value. My ideal client is, is every single woman who wants to go through this experience and have a beautiful picture of herself or herself with her children. On the left corner, I'll have a dressing table where my makeup artist does her hair and makeup and a white sofa. That's a really pretty feature in the studio. And of course, 
the clothes is all around it because uh, I have uh, one stand, but I have way too many dresses, so I hang them up on the on the window. I have uh, two windows where I'm getting the daylight. I started as a natural light shooter when I discovered Sue, and that's where I felt the most comfortable. And obviously, living in the UK, you can't rely on, on the natural light, which was happening a lot that I would be booking clients for the time when I would have good light. And then we would have really rubbish weather and it would be really dark and I would be like, Argh. and it wasn't up until watching Felix's lighting series that it clicked. And it's interesting because the way Felix describes it or in, explains light, now I don't even have to watch uh, his setups but it just makes you think and understanding what happens to the light. And now I can shoot anytime I want. It just gives me that little bit of freedom. I just love watching people's reaction entering the studio and just their eyes lighting up just by looking around, uh, looking at all the beautiful dresses and uh, my beautiful dressing table. And it feels like a space where all the dreams can come true. So what was your average sale when you decided to commit to a studio space? From portraits, I wasn't selling at the time. I spent over a year folio building simply because I'm a perfectionist and I think I wanted to feel mentally ready to charge because it, it, that was probably the biggest obstacle for me to own my pricing and you know being able to say those prices out loud. It's funny watching people grow because you are you identify their blocks more than you identify their growth. Um, I don't see a lot of blocks around Linka but she is slow going and she's slow going but how fast they grow is really up to them. She said she's a perfectionist. We often say I'm a perfectionist but we we don't acknowledge the fear that stops us from selling or moving forward. I feel like she's really broken through that. I'm not a natural networker in the traditional way. Of so your skill is you're a relationship builder. Mm -hmm. um, you have a beautiful personal energy and people love you. So it's important that you um, are maybe not so much networking, but remembering to ask every human being you've met and photographed to send you work. Um, because when people do feel a connection to you and love you, mm -hmm. all you have to do is ask them for the referral. Have you enjoyed um, selling and marketing this last year now that you're um, making money? It's definitely, I'm becoming more comfortable and, and I'm enjoying it more. But like with everything, I think, you know, it takes practice and, and it's getting better and better with every sales session. Walk me through your marketing materials. I love my magazine. Yes. Ever since uh, the idea came up in the group and uh, we saw your beautiful magazine and, Sh and Shauna's template, I fell in love with it. And that feeling when you open the box and it just comes out from the printers, it's just quite amazing. Have you had a transformative shoot in the last two years that really shifted anything in you now? Last year I had a five generation photo shoot. Oh, wow. It was quite special with a little girl who was a newborn and all five generations together. So every time I look at it, I just go, wow, that little girl is just going to cherish that photograph for the rest of her life. There's this myth in the group that people in Europe or UK in particular don't value photography and would never pay this and that amount of money like compared to people in America. And I thought, I can be the first one to prove that it, it is possible and not so much to other people but to myself because I think not many people know that this is something that people do so once they find out that actually I can have this experience that you know models and actresses are only going through it's golden who wouldn't want to do it who wouldn't want to do it what is your average sale going to be next year when we talk Linka uh, <laughs> 2500 good. let's go to 2800 okay yeah that sounds like a good number that's a good number yeah. you can hit 2200 <laughs> when you go home and build up the last 600 over the next year yes. yeah you're one of the best shooters in my group if you don't honor our pricing how can I possibly tell the UK that you've made it do you see yourself doing this in five years time oh my goodness I want to do this for the rest of my life this is this is a farmer purpose I used to shoot uh, actresses and models but to me Given this experience to everyday women who never saw themselves that way is, is priceless. It's, that's, that's what I want to, that's why it's so close to my heart.